Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. In this clip we're going to create a third angle orthographic drawing of a garden lantern. So we can see the image here. Um, the third angle orthographic projection, we've got the top view here, below it we've got the front view and then across here we've got the side view. We've added a um, text box here and we've put dimensions on it. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to open a new document. So we click on um, new um, and that document we need to resize. So before we've used um, A3, but we're going to draw this slightly larger. It doesn't make a lot of difference except if we're going to print it. So we click on setup, drawing, layout. And when we get to layout here, we click on this standard size and we can select a standard size and we're going to um, click on A2. So we're just making our drawing. We can see that the, the grids have got closer. They haven't actually got closer. It's just a, a larger sheet of paper. So once we've done that, we're going to ensure that the grid lock button is depressed and we're going to use the shape tool. Now, the first thing we need to do is draw the body. We're going to draw the front view of the lantern and we're going to draw the body of the lantern, which is 100 by 150 millimeters. So with grid lock on, we can start in the middle here. We can always move it when we've drawn it and we're going to drag out here and we can see that um, in, the, in the relative box down the bottom there, the size, so we've moved along to 100 and then we're moving down and we can see if you see that's going down. So we've got 100 and we're going 150. So we want to draw that rectangle there. And if you look in the relative now, we've got 100 and 150. It's minus and then we just click. It's minus there because we were moving down. So there's our um, side for our rectangle. What we need to do there, we can use our mouse wheel to just zoom in there and out. Um, then we're going to add another rectangle here for the window detail. Um, there's our window detail added there. And click on that. And then we're going to use some, add some lines. We're going to just by eye add a center line. This can um, actually go up a little bit higher if you like because it will show us our center point for our roof later. And then we're also going to add, and we can just take this from the um, drawing on the sheet, and we're going to add some detail here for our windows. Okay, so that's the first stage. We can also add the, our base plinth, so we can just add that, and that just overhangs by 10 millimeters. So we can just draw that on there. So now we've got a um, side view. We could add a, um, roof here, um, which I think is one, two, three, four, five. I think I did get that right. Oh, I needed this tool here. So put a roof tool there. And so there, there is our side view. Now we've got to add our window details. Now the tool we're going to use for that is we're going to use the arc of a given radius tool to create the two curved sections at the top of the window panel. So if we click on arcs and we move to this one, which is draw an arc of a given radius through two points. And we leave that at 50 millimeters and we click there and there and we just move that out. Now we can draw that again, or if we want to, we can just copy that. And when we like this, when we click on it, we get these yellow um, boxes here, and we can use this one down the bottom for copy. We can use this one at the top for flip, and we can just move it because we've got, I like it again, because we've got grid lock on, we can move it to there, and there's our position. So now we've got a um, kind of Gothic shaped window and we can use the delete part of a line tool here to carefully delete out this detail that we don't need. Um, we can also take that one out and that one, that one and that one. So now we've got our 
side view and we just need to add our window detail. To add our window detail, we're going to click on the contour tool and we're going to, in the contour spacing here, add three millimeters. Then we're going to add our contour here, 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 and we'll put one on the outside. Then we can use the delete tool just to delete our construction lines that we create that we created. Um, here you might want to zoom in. So there is our, um, the main parts of our front view. Next we need to create the hanging hook. So for the hanging hook we really need to zoom in a little bit further. We're still going to keep gridlock on and the first stage is using the circle tool. So we're going to use the circle tool here and we're just going to draw a circle that is uh, radius 10. Then we're going to use the contour tool um, and we're going to set the contour at two millimeters. Just set the contour at two millimeters there and we're going to create another circle inside. So we're creating that ring. Then we need to just create the fixing part. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a another circle but we need to resize that so we're clicking on it create the circle click on it and we're just changing the radius there because we want a radius 5 circle and we click on update and okay there's that circle and we position that there now if we zoom in further and we can use these to navigate there and we've created this so what we need to do now is just use the delete part of a line tool and just carefully delete the parts of the line that we wouldn't see. So we've got a, a hanging hook there. So there is, if we zoom out now, and we can see we've got our front view completed. Now we've completed the front view, we can select whole view and move it down to give us room for the top view. When the view is selected like this, these yellow tabs around here allow us several functions. One of them is copy. So we can copy that and then carefully move that over to here. There now we have our two views. So we've got our, our front view and side view here. Then we need to create a plan view or top view. So what we do, we've got gridlock connected. We need to draw this. The dimension here is 120. We can take this from the drawing and we can move across here. And if we look in our relative uh, dimension is 120, move that down. Um, and I've gone over that, but that doesn't matter because I can grab that and using this tab in the center, I can move it up. And there's my roof view. Obviously to complete the roof view, we can put these two diagonals in. And then we need to ha add the hanging detail. So once again, I'll zoom in at the hanging hook detail. Um, I can possibly copy that. So if I click on that and copy, so we've got that the same size and that goes in there. I'm going to zoom in further here and then we just need to add the details of the ring. Um, I think with that, I'll go from gridlock to step lock and just draw a, I'll freehand draw a rectangle because that's what we'd see. I'll move that up to there um, so I'm going to put a good lock on for that putting that there and then I'm going to use the um, delete part of a 
line tool to take out the lines that we wouldn't see and that would be our top view of our hanging rig. So we've got the three views there. What we need to do now is we need to add our text box. So our text box is going to say third angle projection, garden lantern, Mr. Ridley. So we can click on text here and we can say Last of all, we need to add dimensions. So to add dimensions, we simply ensure that grid lock is on. We um, click on dimension lines tool, and then we add dimensions. The trick to adding dimensions is not to over dimension, is to just, um, if a dimension is selected, is indicated on one view, then you don't need to add it on one of the other two views. Um, it's nice if you can to line up these dimension arrows um, sometimes it's a case of just finding where there's room to add the dimension lines a little bit um, short from there here I can add some dimension lines to here or things like these windows and just make sure these all line up Um, just a dimension for the base there. Um, and then we could just add a border. That's hardly going to fit a border around it. Fit it all around. So that's finished. And there we go. There is our. Um, garden lantern we've got the three views we've got the plan view the front view and the side view and um, that's in third angle orthographic drawing these design and technology lessons are available as a3 worksheets in my TES shop thanks for watching mr ridley's design and technology